So today I want to talk about my new spray booth. So I've been priming my skins out on the uh, driveway in front of my hangar, and it's just not an ideal situation, uh, especially it's been real windy lately. So I wanted to come up with a little better solution. I thought about an inflatable uh, spray booth, but I just wasn't uh, willing to part with the money. Uh, so I bought this uh, 10 by 17 portable car canopy from uh, Harbor Freight. I actually got it for 200 bucks because I'm part of their club. And uh, it's a pretty good size. I liked the price. Um, I put it together, unfortunately, on a very windy day. It was, it was, it was gusting up to like 18 knots. Um, so my wife was helping me because it was just blowing everywhere. I should have waited till today. But we got it put together. We got it all cinched down. And it creates a pretty good space. The dimensions are 10 by 17, and it appears to be pretty rugged. And it's got about a nine foot ceiling in the in the center. Uh, the sides obviously come down much lower. Uh, but it's got bars, so uh, I thought that would be good too to help me attach uh, different uh, you know straps and things to help hold up parts while I'm painting. And then at the end of this project, it may be worthless. I can just throw it away. Uh, or keep it for some other purpose. But for right now, it's just a spray booth. Uh, the inflatable spray booths I was looking at were, uh, you know, $600, $800, depending on when you got the fans and what size you got. So I used it today. I uh, primed some, uh, uh, some wing skins and the ailerons and the flaps. And uh, it was so much easier uh, because it was it was uh, killed the wind. It was clean. Uh, I actually put a uh, a tarp on the floor. I think in the picture you just saw it. It was a dirt floor. Uh, the ailerons and the flaps are not easy to prime. Um, sorry, I was a little fast, but uh, those are the uh, the the ailerons over there. The uh, <laughs> because they clamshell so tight, you have to sort of like pin them open. Uh, to get in there with the gun, but I still think I did a pretty good job. It's just a smidge of overspray I'm going to have to wipe down at some point in the future. Uh, but real happy that I got that project done. I tested out my little uh, Harbor Freight uh, car canopy slash spray booth, and now I'm good to go for some other parts, uh, some interior parts that I'll actually paint.